problem 2-38. Scientists can estimate the increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by measuring increases in carbon emissions. In 1998, the annual carbon emission was about 8 gigatons. A gigaton is a billion metric tons. Over the last several years, annual carbon emission has been increasing by about 1%. Letter A. At this rate, how much carbon will be emitted in 2010? Well, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do this the long way or the short way. I will start out by kind of explaining what the long way is so we can kind of see what's happening. But uh, it's probably better once you see the, the shorter way or using a function, uh, it'll help you to get your answer a little bit quicker. So let's start out here. This means that in 1998, okay, this was our year here. Uh, we ended up with eight gigatons of um, our carbon emission. So we had eight gigatons in 1998. They said that number increased by 1% from 98 to 99, so each year. So in order to get uh, how much we would have had in 1999, we need to multiply our eight times 101% in order to make it increase. So we're going to say 8 times 1.01, or you could find 1% of 8 and then just add it to it. I find it's easier just to multiply it there. So when we do that, I should end up with 8.08 when I multiply it. That's an easy one. You can do that in your head. So we had 8.08 .08 gigatons of carbon emission there in 1999. So all we did was we multiplied 8 times 1.01. I'll write that over here just on the side. So we did 8 times 1.01. .01. Now, to get 1999 into 2000, we have to look at, we have 8.08 .08 gigatons and that's going to increase by 1%. So now we're going to, have to do 8.08 .08 times 1.01 .01 to increase it by 1%. So if we do that, I'll do that on the calculator here, we have 8.08 .08 times 1.01, .01, which is like 101% in decimal form. And you see we get 8.1608 there, so I'm just going to go ahead and round it to the nearest hundredths place. Let's go with, uh, we'd end up with 8.16 gigatons in 2000. And then to get 2001, we're going to have to multiply that 8.16 times. another 1.01. .01. So you see this could take quite a while to get all the way down to 2010 there. So let's take a look here. Since we're increasing by a percentage here, what we've got is, you know, this is kind of like a, a geometric sequence there, or we could look at it, it's growing exponentially. So let's try to come up with a function that we could use to calculate the value here instead of having to do, you know, the same process over and over and over again. So remember that the formula, and I'll write, do my work for A right here. Since this is growing exponentially, we know that our carbon emissions, if X is equal to the number of years that have gone by, we should be able to say here that we're starting out at eight gigatons and we're going to continue to multiply it by 1.01 .01 repeatedly. So we're going to do times 1.01. .01. And we're doing that X number of times up here, we're multiplying over and over and over again. And, you know, that's the same thing as what you're probably used to seeing as Y equals A times B to the power of X, where A is your starting point, B is your multiplier. 8 is our starting point. 1.01 .01 is our multiplier. 
So to get where we would be at at 2010, we need to figure out how many years is that going to be. So we're going to say 2010 minus 1998, and that should give us 12 years. So let's solve this here. Let's plug in our 12 for the number of years. And we're just going to simplify this part here. Let's just use our calculator there. Nothing wrong with that. So we're going to do 8 times 1.01. .01. So that's showing that it's increasing by 1%. And we're going to do it for 12 years. And you'll see we get 9.0146. So let's just go ahead and round to the nearest hundreds place. Actually, let's round to the nearest thousands place here since we have 9.01. Let's go to 9.015. So when we do this here, we should be about 9. Actually, let's make that approximately. 0 0.015 there. That's the number of gigatons. So at this rate, how much carbon will be emitted in 2010? We're saying about approximately 9.015 gigatons. It's gigatons. Letter B says, write a function for, uh, in the form C of X to represent the amount of carbon emitted in any year starting with the year 2000. So instead of starting in 1998, they want to say, what if we started in 2000? Well, here would be our starting value. So let's we'll do that one in red so it kind of stands out. Remember, A is starting value. B is our multiplier. So in this case, if we're starting in the year 2000 here, we're looking at starting with 8.16 or 8.16 gigatons. So we're going to say C of X is going to equal, starting with 8.16. And we're still increasing by the same amount. We're still increasing by 1%. So it would be 1.01 .01 raised to the power of x. So that would be the function that we would have if we started in the year 2000. So if we wanted three years from 2000, we would take three and we plug it in for x. And we would get what we would have there. This is problem 2-38. Uh, if you have questions still, make sure you ask your teacher. Otherwise, hopefully this helped you um, to answer these questions here. Thanks for watching.